Some levels have hidden chalices. If you don't find the chalice, the level goes on forever. While you're looking for a chalice, watch for a well of hope. Entering the well doubles all your supplies. It takes five bombs to break into a well of hope. There's a hidden key on the last screen of every level. Until you find it, the exit door will be locked. Look at the top of the screen on almost any level for a room of idols. You have to bomb the statues in a certain order to receive anything, but these rooms are practically the only places to find lamps and megaton bombs. You can almost always break through a solid wall by bombing four markers, such as these bushes, down from the top of the screen. In a tunnel, you need super boots, candles, and crossfire. If you get caught without a candle, remember that the exit is in the same position on the screen as the entrance. Run in a straight line until you find the door. If you go directly down the center passage, you'll find the chalice and key. You could use a missile to blast a straight path, but you uncover more pods by using bombs. Here's your first Xantho Lord Globula. Get super boots and crossfire to guard against the amoebas he spits, then lay bombs near his eye. Direct hits make him flash, and he leaves a key when he dies. Don't waste your award medals buying things you can easily find. You should only buy lamps. Here's a neat trick. Behind the Well of Hope in level 4-1, there's an extra megaton bomb hidden in a block, but it will take several bombs to uncover it. Another room of idols. There's a lamp hidden here, so don't pass it by. You'll need that lamp very soon because level 4-2 is another dark passage. Just beyond the first room of idols in level 4-2, you'll come to a wall shaped like an upside-down L. There's a chalice below the ledge. Level 4-3 is only one screen wide, so you'll need to start looking for the key right away. It's against the left-hand wall. Level 5-1 is very long, especially if you can't find the chalice. But if you're low on energy, look by this middle block. There are three energy packs nearby. When there's an enemy or a missile behind you, you can't back up, so don't get blown up by your own bomb. When the enemies are coming at you quickly, use the stopwatch to halt time and give yourself some running room. Euripides, the second Xantho Lord, is pretty easy to beat. Lay bombs where you think his head will move and don't let your energy fall below three tanks. If you start to run low on energy or bombs, use a megaton bomb to finish him off. Make sure you have several life rafts when you reach the end of level 6-1. The key is hidden in the bottom of the first channel. You'll also need a full bomb supply before hitting the water. Blast through the help rocks here in level 6-3. 
then head for the Well of Hope. Break through on the right side, then start searching for the chalice. To defeat Aquarian, try to force him into a corner. Don't forget to keep an eye on your energy level. Stay in the lower part of the screen in level 7-1. You can get caught in the top half with no way out. There's a chalice above the first pool and a well of hope on the right side of the second pool. Beating Leon is just a matter of timing. If you set a bomb when he's on the screen, he'll move up before it explodes. So when he's off the screen, set the bombs where you think he'll land. If you think one of these pools in level 8-1 contains a well of hope, you're right. But don't go in without a life raft, or you'll drown instead of doubling your supplies. The key in level 8-3 is easy to see for a change. Pick it up, then use crossfire to build up your bomb supply again. Golem is actually the most difficult Xantho Lord to defeat. You must keep your energy supply high. If you die, you'll lose half your supplies and your range, and have little hope of defeating Zur. Use Megaton Bombs to finish Golem off, but save a couple for your next battle. Your supplies are depleted when you meet Zur, the last Xantho Lord, but you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain by fighting him. Use your remaining Megaton Bombs freely, and remember what you learned battling the other Xantho Lords.